Hello and welcome back to a Pokemon Blazing Emerald playthrough. This is part 14. Our last episode, we made it here into the Sea Spring Ruins, which led to a little area called the Wish Cave, which had ourselves the beautiful little Jirachi that we left off on on a little bit of a cliffhanger last episode. We have ourselves the Grey Jirachi, which isn't its shiny form, funnily enough. Um, at least I don't think it is. I don't remember what Jirachi looks like shiny, but I'm pretty sure it's not grey. So, I am prepared. I have healed up my team. Uh, I am expecting this to go one of two ways. Either we fight a really low level Jirachi, like level 10 to 15, right? And we struggle to deal any damage to it, and we only have stats like Hypnosis, so leading with Lusmoth is a really good idea, right? That is plan one. Plan two is this is going to be like a level 50 or a level 70 Jirachi, and we have to rely on getting like a ton of damage off, and therefore we get a, hopefully a flash or two off to get it to cut its accuracy. Flash is our weakest move, if it's a low level, and our honestly most useful move if it does end up being a high level. So, we're going to go ahead and start things off with this weird looking Jirachi, I guess. It appears to be a statue of some unknown Pokemon. I can't fight the Jirachi, right? I didn't prepare for nothing. I can fight the Jirachi. Jirachi has awakened, Shadow Jirachi. Oh, it's the good music. Is that a normal Jirachi? Level 30. Interesting level, though. That level was fine. Um, I mean, we could still lead with Flash. It's not gonna do a whole lot of damage, but it will cut its accuracy, which will be kind of nice for when we want to whittle it down, I guess. And if it starts, you know, slapping out Doom Desires, that is a very strong move, even if it's level 30. So you know what? This is fine. This is fine. I'm a little sad it has breast. That's annoying. That's annoying. Um, doesn't mean we can go for a Moonraiser and get a little bit of damage off though, because we know it can heal. Uh, the main reason I didn't want to click Moonraiser was because there's a chance of a burn, but it can't get burnt if it's asleep. So there's no risk of it getting KO'd. But I'm a little bit sad this is a normal Jirachi, because to be honest, when I saw it immediately after a Shadow Lugia, there was something in the back of my mind that was screaming, Hey, Shadow Jirachi. Shadow Jirachi right here. Think about it. Shadow Jirachi. Um, I am actually just gonna flash again. I don't want to KO it with like a crit or anything like that. I would rather play it safe and risk it going for rest again. I know it can live a hive mind actually. So to be honest, we we can still we can still keep keep whirling. We'll go for one more, and then we'll maybe try and hypnosis. I do like cutting accuracy though. Iron Head misses. There we go. Now if we just don't miss this, goes for helping hand, good. Go to sleep, nope, okay, all right, well, you know what, it's fine. Helping hand, uh-huh, mm-hmm, mm hmm You got no one to help. There is no one that's gonna help. You can't help anyone, okay? You can't helping hand yourself. It's not how that works. It's, it's just not how it works, okay? All right, it's asleep. I'm gonna flash one more time because I'm greedy, okay. Helping hand again. <laughs> <laughs> the greed. The absolute greed. Alright, listen, just don't rest. Don't rest right now and just go to sleep, okay? I need you to just go to sleep. Helping hand? Fine. Go to sleep. Good. Okay, we have a nice opportunity here. I have... I didn't buy... Oh, I don't know Ultra Balls. Okay, you know what? I don't have Ultra Balls. I have one Ultra Ball. Because I only need one Ultra Ball, because this is all you need, alright? You just have to cross your fingers and say, Jirachi, please... It didn't work. My plan didn't work. Maybe the Pokeball? Maybe the Pokeball? Special Pokeball? With a rare custom insignia? I don't want to use it on a Jirachi, I'm gonna be honest. I don't actually plan on using this Jirachi a whole bunch, I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, we have Hoenn Forms, right? If this had been a super cool form of Jirachi, a shiny Jirachi, anything other than a normal Jirachi, I might have considered it. But considering this is just a completely ordinary Jirachi, as far as I can tell at the very least, this is an ordinary Jirachi. I don't think I'm going to use it over any Hoenn forms, because the Hoenn forms that I have at the moment are really nice. So, woke up, helping hand. If it does rest again, I'm probably just going to KO the Pokemon, actually. One, I didn't bring Pokeballs because I'm a dummy, but also, I don't... 
we do end up catching it and in a premier ball, which does look nice. So I guess that that kind of worked out. I brought exactly as many Pokeballs as I needed to. That simple. Uh, but I'm not going to give it a nickname. I haven't trained up Hoenn Dodrio yet, but that is a Pokemon that I do kind of want to use. Uh, and I don't think there's anyone that I would rather have a Jirachi than, to be honest. You know, I like my team at the moment. I really do. Like, yeah, I definitely am considering going ahead and removing Skarmory or Ursaring one or the other for Hoenn Dodrio, just so we can have, you know, different typing. To be honest, it'll probably be Skarmory, because Ursaring really did impress me. Uh, but for the most part, I want to use these Hoenn forms, because they're really cool. For right now, though, I guess we're going to go ahead and start making our way over to the Weather Institute, I guess is where we have to go next. So we are surfing from Morville. I do believe going right from Route 118 is where we need to be heading next. I don't think there's anything else crazy that we want to do right now. There might be some things that we technically could go and do immediately uh, by surfing around Dooford, as that's normally an area where there's a bunch of things. There might be like a new area added somewhere in that whole vicinity between Slateport, Dooford, and Petalburg. There could genuinely be something there. I don't know. But for right now, we're gonna go ahead and continue. We're gonna go ahead and see a uh, good old, a uh, good old buddy Steven head up towards the Weber Institute, and we'll see what we can find over this way. I did quickly check the Jirachi to see if there was anything different with the Jirachi. There wasn't anything different with the Jirachi, sadly. It is completely normal, meaning as cool of a Pokemon as it is, it's not as cool as Hoenn forms. Hi, Carlos. It's me, Steven. We met in the cave near Duford. Have you met many kinds of Pokemon since I last saw you? Kinda. Kinda. New home forms, yeah, mm hmm There are many, many kinds of Pokemon in this wide world of ours. If you wanted to raise only your favorites, that's fine. Perhaps you find it more fun to raise all sorts of Pokemon. I find it fun to use new Pokemon that I don't get to play in other games. As a trainer of Pokemon, what do you think? Of course, it's not any of my business. It'd be nice if we were to meet again somewhere. With maybe you having some kind of crazy team, Steven? That would be kind of nice. That would be kind of nice. It was just a... I thought that was shiny for a second there. I thought that looked really golden. Because I'm going to be honest, my wallpaper at the moment is gold. <laughs> and I, I think that may have rubbed up on it a little bit. It might have just been... It matched so well. So, so well. I really thought that was a shiny. I'm a little bit upset. I'm a little bit upset. I feel like I, got, I just got straight up lied to by the game. And it hurts, you know? It hurts to be lied to just straight up by the game. <laughs> if only I wasn't an idiot, my problems would be solved. Uh, but I do think we're gonna use a lot of Dunsparrow for this game. I think I'm getting that name right, Dunsparrow. I wanna call it like Dunsparrow. Dunsparrow, Dunsparrow. That, that, I said the same thing. I said the same thing. Therefore, it must be right. I must have the letters right in my head if I messed it up with the same thing, right? I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. Uh, I am gonna say... There might be a few videos missing this week. I didn't upload yesterday because it was incredibly hot. Currently, hottest week of the year so far, and uh, I am feeling it, is all I'm gonna say. I am feeling the heat, and I can't really record with the fan going because you really won't actually be able to hear my voice because it is really loud and it is really necessary at the same time. So after I'm done like working for the day, I'm done. <laughs> so if there is videos missing this week, that is why. It is purely because of heat and there is no other reason. I just, I melt. I'm so bad with heat. It's so bad. Um, I am going to go ahead and put you in front though, Ursaring, because you are a monster and I don't think anything can possibly come out that would be scary for you. I do think Route 119 it looks so golden. Okay, listen, the first time, the first time, I thought it might have just been my eyes. Now that I've seen it two times, it really does just look really golden in that spray. Um, I'm losing track of what I'm saying again, because I'm dumb, but there's a lot of heat. I don't like a lot of heat. That was pretty much all I had to say. <laughs> oh, look at you, someone on an adventure, you're traveling awfully light. I don't know. I have a backpack that can fit a bicycle in it. I don't think I'm exactly traveling light, man. Like, I'm traveling pretty hefty if you think about all of the different things that are inside my bag. I must have so much stuff. 
plus a bike. Like, all of the other total of the bag maybe is feasible, right? You could, you could kind of understand how that could fit into a bag. The bike? I don't know. I don't know. I don't buy it. I don't buy it for a second, you know? What else is in there? That would be crazy. A fishing rod? Fishing rod is also kind of large. Not necessarily heavy, but it's definitely large, right? And if someone was to look at someone carrying a backpack, a fishing rod, on their bicycle, I don't think they would say traveling light, you know? So ma'am, I have disproven everything that you wanted to say. Get out of my sight. Nope, I don't, I don't want your PokeNav number. I'm hoping that I never see you again, to be truly honest. It might sound rude, but it's true. But I feel like I'm missing a trainer somewhere. Who has the knowledge and the technique for survival? Pokemon Rangers, that's who. Why do I feel like he's normally lower? Maybe I'm crazy. Probably crazy. <laughs> it's probably just me. Breloom, you're about to get strength. I'm so sorry. Maybe you'll outspeed me and mark punch me and actually deal damage to my mighty Earth Ring. And you know what? I'll be impressed. Nope. <laughs> this Earth Ring one-shots everything. It just, it just doesn't stop. The one-shots don't stop. And it's fast. Like, if this thing had adaptability, right, and it had this attack stat, but it was slow, I'd consider it balanced. I would. I would. Kind of like the pincer treatment. Hone pincer in this game, kind of balanced, right? Because it's so slow. That stream just doesn't have any drawbacks, though. It just doesn't. I wonder if... I know there's an ability that's been added to this game for Hoenn Solosis, I believe, which is called, like, Fruitrition. I wonder if Tropius gets that, because it has bananas around his neck. I don't actually know what the ability does. I just know the name, because I saw it while I was scrolling through. So, Fruitrition exists. I'm assuming, considering it's, like, Fruit Nutrition, it's gotta be something to do with, like, healing, like Harvest, in my mind, is kind of what I tie it to, like, when you harvest citrus berries. I, I assume that it's something like that, but I don't 100% know. For right now though, into the Weather Institute we go. We will see if we end up with a normal cast form or not. For right now though, bed, yoink, yep, mm hmm mm hmm And I guess we'll go ahead and lead with the mighty dragon. The mightiest of dragons, some might say. I've locked myself because I'm dumb. The boss get interested in the research they have going on here, so he sends out. You quit meddling. I will meddle all I want to, thanks. I am here to meddle. That's my only goal. Meddling. So, you and your quilfit. Ooh! You look a little bit different. Ah. Oh. Steel? Neutral. Steel. Steel. Quillfish is swelling with poison. Defense and special attack? Neutral. Resisted. So it is steel. I got that right. That fits. Because electric was neutral. If that was poison then Dragon Pulse would have also been neutral. Send out another one so I can keep testing. Dang it. Maybe Steel Poison? Water can't be in there, because Thunderbolt would have been super effective. So it has to be Steel and Poison, right? I guess it could also just be pure Steel, but I mean, it used a move where it said it was swelling with Poison, if it's not a poison type after that, that's false advertising, and I want to see. <laughs> so I'm assuming steel poison. Fully assuming that. That sounds right in my mind. If, 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 if there's a way that that doesn't sound right to you, please explain. Please. Please explain. Cool Pokemon, though. Cool Pokemon, though. I wonder if it can be found in, like, my mind immediately thinks of, like, the most obscure spot. Right, because they need to be like stationary Pokemon, and there is genuinely a spot that fits that so well. And if this isn't where they're found, I'm gonna be so upset. But they should be found in the like four spots where the Feebas can be found. It's found, found. <laughs> because 
Mines don't move, so those four spots would make sense for it to be there, and not moving. And it's pretty close to where you see it for the first time. Right? With that trainer. That makes so much sense. Please tell me that's right. Please. 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 I really hope that's right. I really hope it's in those four spots. I don't remember where those four spots are as such. I don't know if it actually changes depending on like when you restart a game. I don't think it does. I don't remember where those spots are. So... I'm not gonna go looking for it, is all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna go looking for those spots. But I do like the idea. Uh, for right now though, let's go ahead and I believe you're water and dark, so I can Thunderbolt you. And honestly, I'm just gonna Iron Head you and hope that I flinch now speed. That's the plan. Look at Doop. Look at how strong Doop has become. Just one-shotting. Casual Doop. What a guy. He made it. Truly made it. Mighty Anna and Mighty Anna. Okay, well, the Intimidate is, uh, really happening. It's really happening. This Iron Head's gonna do nothing. Did more than I was expecting. That's why I got onto Skarmory. That brings my attack back up. Hold on. Do I like this or not is the question. I'm just going to find about that one and hope that I can take it out. And I'm going to go full force blaze kick onto this one and see how much damage we can do if we break through. I believe that we will break through. Thunderbolt does take out that Mighty Anna, which is nice, because it means that we're only going to get one attack on us this turn. Hellfish again! I can do more testing! I can hit it with a Fire-type move. We already know that'd be super effective. We can hit it with a... With a... I don't know what I can hit it with to test if it's Poison-type. It's gotta be Poison-type. It's gotta be. Right? Right? I can't test with any of these moves, so I'm just gonna blaze kick it. Just, just because. You know, it's the move to go for. It's the thing to do. Thunderbolt actually didn't KO. Blaze kick lands though, goodbye. Bye bye. I know I'm, I'm like intimidated twice, so I'm not actually like swagger boosted up, but that's still a super effective blaze kick from uh, Skarmory that is Pretty strong. I'm a little bit crazy that it's five. I think it must have some really good physical defense, which makes sense because it has a special move which boosts its physical defense and special attack. That makes total sense. Okay, it does. But also, damn, it survived. <laughs> like if it survived because it had that resolute ability, I'd understand that. But it just straight up survived. Would you be level 39 though? Any new moves? No new moves, and Sizzlebeak should KO the Quillfish. Hey, hey. Still, there is two Quillfish in here. That bodes even better for my idea that there is, you know, a bunch of mines in the river just next to this power, this power plant? Weather Institute. There we go. That's what it's called. Uh, let's go ahead and slap someone different in front real quick, though. We'll put... Let's, let's, let's give this a go. Pop a Tangrowth in front. I like Tangrowth. It's just used in specific situations against physical attackers. My Diana, for example, it'd be great against. If they lead with most other things, it's not quite as good. Ahahaha, ah, ha, ha. are you gonna meddle in Team Aqua's affairs? Mm -hmm. You're either absolutely fearless, simply ignorant, or both. It's both. You're so cute, you're disgusting. I'll put you down, kitty. Hi, you rude. Damn. Definitely feel as ignorant, okay, for sure. <laughs> okay, do gong. We can do okay against that. We're okay against that. That's a dark type, right? Rival bash. We outspeed. Does decent damage. Use knuckle fins. What is that? My rage is building. <laughs> My rage is building. I can't use the same move twice in a row due to Torment, so that's what it does. Is that what Knucklefins does? Because there's no other reason that would be applying. 
because we've used Bramble Bash the same... We've used that twice in a row before. Stops my rage building, I guess. So, I mean... It, it works, I guess. Slack off. Okay, okay. You have some moves over there, Dugong. I see what you're doing. I'm gonna bulk up. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna set up on this thing. I can't use the same move twice in a row and I don't know if Bramble Bash will KO, so we'll we'll do this. We'll bulk up and then hit you again. And we'll do all of this all over again, okay? That's the plan. Now we're at plus one attack and plus one defense. Your Knuckle Fences can do even less. You might even KO yourself. Knock off. Goodbye. 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 Oh no, my black glasses. But you've KO'd yourself. You fool. You absolute fool. And what other Pokemon do you have? Hmm? Gorobis! Different. Different. Can I go for it twice in a row because it's KO'd? Nope. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. I'm gonna rock to and lower its speed. Transformed into the fairy type. It has protein? Huh. Okay. Fairy type. I mean... I would go and iron head it, but I feel like it'll outspeed my Skarmory. Who's faster? 95, 86, 88. Although, realistically speaking, we'll go into we'll go into Ursaring. One, because Ursaring is nuts. Okay, it is. It's a nuts Pokemon, it's really good. But also, even if it does outspeed me and change back to a water type, this way I can thunderclap it. We do get the strength off first though, that might be all we need. It survived. Protein Water Pulse. It's decently hard, but we have Quick Attack. So even if you have Aqua Jet or something, we win this fight. Cool team. Cool team. Only two Pokemon, so it's kind of hard to call it like a team, but we saw some stuff. We saw some stuff, for sure. It's bad enough to have Team Magma blunder about, but now there's you. What makes you even want to sniff around in our business anyway? Potential new Pokemon. That's what. <laughs> we have a situation here. A Team Magma mob just passed the Weber Institute. It appears to be headed for Mount Pyre. What? We can't waste any more time here. We have to hurry to Mount Pyre too. Team Magma, just you wait. But do I get a cast form or do I get something new? It says cast form, but is it? I feel when I see a cast form. I feel sad. You know? I was really hoping that they would give us the quillfish. Like, do I think that that quillfish is the strongest Hoenn form added into the game? No. Do I want it for my collection? For sure. For sure. Well, we'll go ahead and just real quick, like, triple check. It's a cast form. Cast form. He is holding a piece of candy. I want that piece of candy! Hold on, hold on, out you come, out you come, out you come, out you come. I'm not changing the layout for this, by the way. The layout's probably staying the same. Um, I do want the candy, though. Give me that candy, and also, is there anything different about you? Yes. Your stats are way different. You have good defense, special attack, and speed? So it's been made into more of a special attacker. It, it's definitely buffed. Cast Form's definitely buffed with those stats, for sure. But... I don't want to use a Cast Form. <laughs> you know, it's it's a tough life being a Cast Form. That's all I'm gonna say. It's a tough life. No one wants the Cast Form. No one. <laughs> Me included. I don't want the Cast Form. Even when it gets buffed, the only time that I would use it I don't know when I would use it. For right now, though, I think I'm going to go ahead and have a quick look around in this area for... Actually, let's do the rival battle first. Let's do the rival battle. We healed up. We're in a decent situation. I'm going to lead with Lucimoth. We'll have ourselves a rival battle. 
I may. Who could have possibly expected you to appear on these steps? Carlos, where were you? I was looking for you. How much stronger have you gotten? Let me check for you. Ready for Pokemon? Of course you are. Go. I am. I genuinely am. But we will have this battle, we will make it to Fortree City, and then we will go ahead and have ourselves a look around for new Pokemon. I am gonna flash the Pelipper. It is four times super effective. I can't help it. I'm clicking flash. This is why it's here. We'll also get the accuracy drop, but also, it's four times super effective. It's genuinely just the, the best move to go for. Can't miss stockpile, though. Also, I don't think I got this accuracy drop. It might be Keen Eye. I think it's genuinely Keen Eye. I mean, it doesn't need Drizzle, I guess. Not that it gets Drizzle in this game, but it doesn't need Drizzle because there's already rain, so why not, I guess. Charizard? Flash is still my best move, so... Sure, we'll go for the base 50 Flash. Miss all of your moves. We do have the, the good old rain kind of benefiting us right now. We got KO'd by Wing Attack. Alright, let's bring out the proper dragon though. What Charizard wishes it could be. Charizard longs for the day when it can be as powerful as Dupe right here. Dupe? Prime. Prime dragon. Strongest dragon. We can, we can just go for the ancient power. You know, that move that the dragons have. You know, it's the ancient and powerful mythical beings. I think Charizard actually learns ancient power as well. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's a tough life. It's a tough life for Charizard. Ludicolo is the last Pokemon. Interesting team, again. It makes sense, but like... Dupe. Dupe. Need I say more than dupe? I don't think I need to say more than dupe. Swift, pathetic, dupe eat swifts. You know, the, the, all those all like birds the, that are forming. Eaten. Devoured. Dupe does not care. Dupe. Dupe wins. You know, I was worried you might be struggling with your training. Nope. But I had absolutely nothing to worry about. Keep it up. Here, I have a present for you. HMO2, which I don't know if Dodrio can learn, but I'm curious to see if it's been buffed. Scott, go away. Scott, I don't care. Scott, no, I, would I want to check the HM. Scott, listen, listen, listen. You're a cool guy. All right, you got some funky curly hair, but I want to see if Fly's been buffed. Is it good now? 100, 100. It doesn't miss anymore. That's nice. 100, 100 is reasonable. It would also get affected by... No, no, no. I'm thinking of air control. It makes normal type moves flying type, not the other way around. Um, none of the Pokemon we have right now need fly. I mean, we can put it onto Skarmory for sure, but I want to see if we can put it onto Dodrio. That's my real goal. I'm going to go through this grass real quick, just to, like, go around the side. Gross, Aridos. I am completely skipping train. Grass? Grass. I'm going to heal up first, and then I'm going to just real quick Look through some grass. Real quick. First, I'm going to take Dodri out. It's not going to be put on the layout right now because I'm not actually adding it to the team. I just want to check if it can learn fly. Can learn fly, despite technically being a grounded bird that can't fly. But it can learn fly. So we'll get rid of Peck for fly. And I will probably train up this Dodrio in between episodes. Honestly, I'm going to train up the Dodrio on the grass here in between episodes, and if I find a home form, I'll catch it. That's the way we're going to do it. That's the way we're going to do it. So, we're going to wrap things up right here. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and we'll go for